Hey guys. Sorry that you're looking up in my wall. Give me a minute. <coughs> See, I'm sorry guys. This always seems to happen like every day. And yeah, it's doing it again. Let's see if I can fix it just a, ever so slightly. All right. Oh, it doesn't look right. Okay. All right, folks. You know, I've been thinking. You know, a lot of people. You know, I just got this idea from Stephen Nux because he just talked about what he'd want in a Sonic game. And uh, you know, Chad, the time for old Bugsy to. Uh, Chime in with his two cents. Like, like always. So, I want to just talk about what what I would want in a Sonic game. And yes, I have three different versions of what I want because I'm I'm just weird like that. Okay, first thing I really, 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 really want is a Sonic RPG. Yes, in the same vein of... in the kind of the same vein in uh, Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood, but a lot more... What's the word I'm looking for? What is the word I'm looking for, guys? I kind of do want it to be an MMO. Because I feel like that would work. Because, you know, we could have all our little fan characters and in that game. Because I've seen a lot of people pull off the whole Sonic MMO thing. Hell, I've seen Mario, I've seen a Mario MMO that some dude made. Didn't really get the, didn't really get the, uh, privilege to play it, but, uh, yeah. I even played Sonic Arena back in the day, and that was a big old MMO. I just think it would work. Like, because I talked about a Sonic MMO before with the uh, with the guys, and uh, basically, you know, what I thought of was this just this gigantic Sonic story that encompasses not only the game's canon, but but the canon of the three the three Sonic shows. And no, Sonic X doesn't count because the game canon. The game canon and Sonic X's canon are basically the same with the addition of Chris. So I'm not adding Chris. Like, what if, but like, what if, I don't know, like, what if I did like an end game boss, like, like Chris is like the EXE version, it's like, why didn't you add me in the game? He looks all, he looks all like fucked up and uh, zombified a little bit. I don't know, something like that. But maybe not, I, I don't know, that'd probably just be like, if I was like, if I was actually doing this thing and it, and it'd have a Halloween update, yeah, the AXEs would actually make an appearance, but they wouldn't be all powerful, they wouldn't be like mess, like fucking up your games or, or anything like that, no, they'd be beatable. Because like, I don't get like in every freaking Sonic EXE story, there's no way to actually beat them, no, no, you can only turn the game off. Uh, burn and freaking hide the, hide the freaking, hide the freaking game, but you can't really physically beat them in their stories. Um, because they've never written one where you actually win against an EXE. No, 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 you either end up dead or the thing ends up torturing you. And I'm like, you know what? No, 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 no. If I was doing some sort of Halloween event, no, they're getting their asses beat. But you'd have to be an insanely high level to beat them. I would say the level the level for them if this was like a mission that I would want them to do, you'd have to be like a level ugh, you'd be a level you'd have to be either a level eighty you'd have to be a level eighty or a level fifty to beat them. And that's if you got all your stuff, you know, if you have like gear like gloves and and various items that give you special abilities, kind of like how uh, in Venture they would give you that. 
But basically, the, like I said before, the main story would be like pretty much all the Robotniks from all different corners of the multiverse like coming together like, well, well, lazy, well, other means. Are you tired of losing to that blasted rodent? And they all go, yes. Are you tired of losing to those blasted freedom fighters? And he talks to the comic ones, too, because regular Eggman ain't gonna know what the, the uh, freedom fighters are, except for probably Boom Eggman. Boom Eggman, yes, he'd be there, too. But he'd be more of a funny character. And actually, and actually comment on how uh, say Robotnik is very, like, very scary, and so is a uh, fleet... So it's like uh, Fleetway, Sonic the Comic uh, Robotnik, because that Robotnik is just insane. Would I add, would I add, um, this, the, um, the uh, Sonic Freedom Fighters version of Robotnik? Mm, I don't think I would. The only person I probably would add uh, at this point would probably be Bugsy the Hedgehog and just be kind of like a little you know, in-game, like, a little in-game easter egg, like, you know, he's there, like, every so now and again, you go to his, like, uh, you go to his lab, and he's like, yeah, quit bothering me, I'm busy, and, like, there'd be, there'd be, like, one mission where you would, um, there'd be a few missions where you would actually, like, um, accompany him, accompany him in, a, like, a freedom fighter mission. And that those missions would be so freaking cool. Um, there's a few other things I'd want also, um, because it's not just gonna be uh, it's not gonna be just an MMO with Sonic's face on it. No, no, no. Like the action stages would actually be like the ones in a console game, but there would be so RPG elements. Not saying you couldn't pass it depending on what level you were, but there would be like enemies in in the path in your path, and you could either avoid them or fight them. But they wouldn't like come up randomly. Like they'd be like enemy enemy ahead. Would you like to fight? You know. But it wouldn't be so frequent. You know, like you can't go five minutes without like fighting an enemy. No. You can like just you can pass them and stuff like that. I feel like that would be kind of cool. And yeah, you're gonna see you're gonna even see Scratching Grounder, uh, because like I said, you're gonna visit all worlds of Sonic. Not the not the creepy pasta ones. Those will be only opened for like Halloween. That would be the only time that 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 you actually see that. And yes, every. Like, they would, all those universes would have various storylines that you could complete. Like, say, like, say, uh, with the help of, with the help of, uh, with the help of, uh, Sonic the Comic Robotnik. Um, like, uh, Eggman and both the, um, uh, the Game Cannon Eggman and Sonic Boom Eggman actually get to take over the take over their take over their world. And, you know, various Eggman will be in different um different corners of the multiverse. Will we see will we see um a lot of you are talking like would we see would we see ro the um would you see adventure will we see adventures inside the hedgehog uh, robotic? Well, I think you would, and he would give you a promotion. But also, um, I, I want to do like this. Run, if like if, if I had the chance, I would like to do some sort of uh, running gag. Like when you see him, he just says, "Pink is like, like I want to. I want this Eggman to be fully aware that there's YouTube poops about him, and he says, "Pink is." He goes like, you know, there's like one thing where you find him. He's like. What does Pegasus even mean? This confounds me. <laughs> I'm just, uh, you know, I just think that would work. Um, let me see. What else? Okay, my, okay, the MMO thing I really think would be the best 
thing ever, in my opinion. Because I think a Sonic MMO could work. I really do think it could work. You know. Well, actually, it's just two things, because I combined MMO with RPG. But the main Sonic thing should be... I don't know. I feel like the story should be something like... Uh, something that Adventures would kind of do. Like, it wouldn't be Adventures 3, but it would have the same kind of story... It would have the same kind of story as um, Sonic Adventures in certain ways where it gets, where it's sort of serious. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the comedy, I kind of do love the comedy of uh, Sonic, Sonic Lost World and uh, Sonic Colors. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that they're bad, they're, they're fun. But, you know, we could go back to a more serious Sonic and I think that could, that could benefit a lot of things. Because we got these people called the uh, True Sonic Spirit. They have their own little YouTube channel. And they talk about, like, what would be the true Sonic Spirit. And I think, you know, that that the game I that I'm thinking of, like, the game that only exists inside my mind, uh, fits in that, in that respect, you know. But, um, but what I'm trying to say is, like, you know, the gameplay, I would say... Some weird hybrid of adventure mixed with uh, Unleashed, and then bits of the uh, colors, and also, also no wisp. I don't want any more wisps. I mean, yes, I understand that they're gonna be the power up for Sonic for now and forever. Uh, excuse me. No indigestion from the bananas. Um. Sorry, guys, my head is itchy. Um, so anyways, I would say, like, again, I want, I would want, like, a, like, kind of a hybrid of some, like, elements from Sonic Adventure, elements from, elements from Sonic Lost World, because I do like the parkour system, the parkour system looks pretty cool, it's pretty cool, and I would like to keep that. Um, characters, Sonic. I would want Sonic. I would want. I would want Tails. And Knuckles. But the thing is, if we're gonna add Amy, I want the. I want kind of. I want game. I want in game Amy to be like what she looks like in the other Sonic games, but I want her to have like boom Amy's personality where she just isn't that dependent on Sonic. I mean, yes, there's still a love there, but she's, like, she's not going to let that stop her from, uh, saving the world, or she's not going to always, like, obsess over Sonic to the point where it jeopardizes her own, like, little missions they go on. I want Rouge to be there, and I want, and I kind of do want... Like, I do want there to be dialogue trees where you can actually have Sonic say what you, like, what you want him to say. Like, if he's talking to Amy, he says, like, Sonic, want to go on a date? And then you got the, you got the option of saying yes, no, or doing a Sonic response that's kind of like in, um, Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood where he, where he's just kind of a snarky douchebag, and I like that. I don't know, I like that about Sonic. I like Sonic being kind of a, um little bit of an asshole, because I feel like that would work. Not like a complete asshole, but, you know, just, you know, kind of how he was, uh, back in the days of the, uh, and days of the Genesis, where he kind of did have a, you know, an attitude, you know what I mean? Something like that. Um, I want to bring, I would want Chow Gardens, because, god dang, I miss Chow's. I miss them little buggers. I mean, I see them in Sonic uh, Runners, which a game I can't play because I don't have a, I don't have a fucking Android phone. Yeah, I'm still mad about that, by the way. But um, you know, there's a lot of stuff I really would want th in this game to have. I want Rouge to be there because I kind of want to see. I want like a an explanation. Did Sonic know Rouge uh, before? Sonic Adventure 2, did they go out, stuff like that, you know, just to kind of keep the Sonic Rouge fans happy, even though that will never happen, but 
You know, I think that would be pretty cool. Because seriously, did anybody else, like, think, why did Rouge call Sonic Big Blue? Is there something, if there, is there something going on that they're not telling us? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know what I mean? I want to, I want to know if that is, if they're actually doing something, if, like, something ever did happen with Sonic and Rouge. Like, I don't want it to be, like, the whole story, like, certain people want. I would want it to be, like, kind of a flashback, if that would be cool. Ah, uh, really? Really, computer? Every time. Every time. So, anyways, that's just how I see that working, uh, basically. Um, I want the edge, I want the, um, stage it, I want this one to have kind of an open world, but not as big as what I want the Sonic MMO to be, but just kind of, you know, big enough for more, for just regular exploration. And, you know, with, with the MMO, you could, like, patch, make, make more land, make more different things, and various other things like that. Um, but with this, I just want it to be kind of big, kind of, I want it to be bigger, I want it to be, like, big, like, San, uh, Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto 5 big. That's how big I want it to be. And you'd have stages. The story, I mean, I do want a new character. But if I, but if, you know, since it is my dream game, and I know a lot of you are going to call foul because... I want this certain character I want and if I had the if I really did have the power I would Ah man sorry guys felt a little dry hold on Ah man <coughs> Sorry sorry big skip excuse me you know my throat gets a little dry every now and again see kids all, the, the real thing you need to know when doing videos like this, always have water handy. Because you never know when you might need it. Um. But, uh, okay. You know, again, I would want something to say. I would want Bugs and the Hedgehog to be in it because I don't know, but I don't know. I just feel like that'd be a good little cross promotion. If like 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 say if like Sega if made my little Sonic Freedom Fighters project official, and I can like put um, Sonic Bugsy the Hedgehog and like uh, just in games as kind of an MP an NPC, you know stuff like that. But you know there would be like a storyline and how he's like the only. He's like the only relative of Sonic that Sonic really knows because we never know we never really under we never really found out what happened to Sonic's parents in in the uh, game universe. We don't even know if Sonic even really has parents in the game universe to be quite honest. We know in the comics, we know in the Archie comics that's for sure, but we do not know in the game and I feel like he'd be the only like relative or family that Sonic actually has, for various reasons. I wouldn't say that game Robotnik killed them. I would say that he, he turned them into Batniks, but uh, he, you know, Sonic wouldn't see them, and they, they would be in this game, but they would be, oops, sorry guys, freaking, freaking hot and jumpy, I don't know why. Ah, God. Well, hot and jumpy. I don't know why, but trying not to make this the most awkward video in all, of all time. But I feel like that's happening. Okay, okay. So I would want Sonic. I would want Sonic to actually fight his parents because let's say how about this? You say that Sonic, like Robotnik, always had them roboticized for the exact moment of when he'd want to basically, you know, torture Sonic could be the ultimate torment for that blue little pinny cushion. Excuse me guys, I'm trying to fix my hat. This don't help. 
But anywho, Jesus. Um. But anywho, I'd have something like that. And I would want to put Sally in the cannon as well. I don't know, just like a little Easter egg, and then like the next game we do, she'd be in it. You know, kind of like that. I would like that more than anything else in this in this world. And I know this game would only be in my mind. Both of these games would only be in my mind. But I feel like this would kind of work. And, you know, Sega can make a lot of money for making a Sonic MMO. Something that they could basically update on the regular. But, uh, you know. And, you know, they can, they can make it free. They could uh, put game trans. They could put micro game transactions and stuff. They can um, make it a paid subscription. I feel like these things could work. And the thing that they need to call it is, I would like to, I would like to, I would like it to be called Sonic World. And if I was ever making a Sam game, I don't want it to look like Sonic Nebulous because that that shit is weird. Like, the whole art design for that game is so weird. I looked at all the characters, and they just look so fucking weird. I understand. Dark and gritty. But this is just ridiculous. I understand taking liberties with characters' designs and shit. But, um... You, make, you made Sally look too... bodybuildery. like... I'm... I am Sally Acorn, Sonic Hedgehog. I must snoo snoo. And don't tell me any of you that haven't played the game and our Futurama fans didn't think of that because, god dang it, you guys didn't think of that, oh my god. But, that's, that's about it. I'll see you guys later. This video was extremely awkward today. Don't know why. See you guys later. Mm, bye folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Oh yeah, and if you could share my, like and share my video, it would be really appreciated. And if you want to subscribe, you know, you can. I ain't gonna force you. I ain't gonna force you. If you're new, I ain't gonna force you. Just watch my videos and see if you can make your own opinion for yourself. Is what I'm trying to say. See you guys later. Mm, bye, folks.